Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Happy New Year. I hope you all are having and have had a safe introduction into this new year of 2022 and expecting great things and many blessings for all of you. And this week is the first vinyl review of the year. So I figured why not start this one out with a bang with one of my favorite artists, legend, the GOAT, Michael Jackson. So before I get into which album this is, some of you may, well, if you didn't read the title, you may be thinking uh, I'm reviewing the Thriller album or maybe Off the Wall. Um, those are like two of his really huge ones or even that. Um, I like all of those as well. But the one that is probably, I'd say this is probably my favorite album of his, is Dangerous. Um, this one. This album is very hard to find. I feel like you can find Thriller and Bad and Off the Wall, those other ones that I mentioned earlier, pretty easily at most uh, local record stores. This, but I'm telling you, this Dangerous album, first of all, it features my all-time favorite song from Michael Jackson, which is Remember the Time. I feel like anytime that song is played or even if I'm just watching the music video, if I'm in a bad mood, there's no way I'm going to be in a bad mood still when I'm listening to this song or watching the video. It's just such a, I don't know, the vibe is just the beat, it just everything is just so dope. And this album cover, I mean, hey, you know, get into these details here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but very detailed, very intricate. I mean... This is dope. Probably my favorite album co album cover of his as well. Um, now, what's interesting about this album is this is the only one where uh, Teddy Riley was so heavily involved in it. So for those that don't know, Teddy Riley, or you don't know who he is, let me back up a little bit. So Teddy Riley really is responsible for ushering in what is now called the New Jill Swing or New Jack Swing. So that was in the early, well, actually late 80s, early 90s. Um, so it was this sound, kind of like an edgier sound of R&B, almost like you could say more hip hop driven beats over R&B, which at that time it was really something new and brown, groundbreaking because it wasn't really being done before. So Teddy Riley, uh, was in the group Black Street. Um, he's also a very, very talented producer and um, songwriter in his own right. Um, and he's just produced many, many hits. I think, honestly, you know, until he did the verses, I think that was, the, what, last year? Now, what, well, two years ago, I guess now, um, with Babyface. I think a lot of people really didn't realize some of the hits that Teddy Riley has. I mean, his catalog is not to be played with. And I would say to me, the best moments of his catalog are some of those best moments are on this album. So, of course, like I mentioned, you know, Remember the Time is on here. In the Closet, that's one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs, too, even though it wasn't, I would say, like a huge, huge hit. Jam, y'all remember that with Michael Jackson? I mean, Michael Jordan in the video. Um, Heavy D was on it, you know, him rest in peace as well. I think even Criss Cross was in that video, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, this, this whole album, it what's so cool about it is I feel like this is more of a party album, uh, than some of his other records. Um, well, I'd say maybe off the wall is too a little bit, but what's so great is it's a perfect mix of ballads and then also your, what would you call like club jams or something like that too. Because he has um, Will You Be There, the song from, uh, what was that, Free Willy? I believe it was. Um, he, that song's on there. Heal the World. Um, you know, these are these are ballads, you know, big ballads that he's had in his career. Um, and, yeah, I just think he was just really in his element here on this album. And... I wish that there was more work. Hopefully there is some other work that may come out one day in the future um, between him and Telly Riley because I really liked their 
pairing and their production team and, and writing style together, um, I thought was just top tier. Um, this album doesn't have that many songs. Um, you know, you're talking maybe, yeah, I think it's like less than 15. So this is the track listing on the back. So for those that may not be familiar with all of these songs, these are uh, the ones on here. So this one, I feel like this is one of the forgotten albums of Michael Jackson's catalog. And not because it was unsuccessful. This album sold millions of copies. But when it's stacked up against Thriller, you know, which is, you know, pretty much, I think, the biggest album of all time still, uh, or, you know, even albums like Off the Wall, or I think as an album, it may not be beneath bad as far as what people think. Um, but I think people remember a lot of the singles from the bad album, maybe more so than they do uh this particular album. I say, of course, remember the time is a big standout, but some of the other ones people may not think of or remember as being part of the Dangerous album. But like I said, it may be an unpopular opinion, but this is my favorite Michael Jackson album. Um, it's actually the only one I have in my vinyl collection, so I plan on getting more, um, but I had to get this one when I found it. I had to swipe it up because again, it is pretty hard to find and I'm sure all of the vinyl enthusiasts can agree with me on that. So Michael Jackson, Dangerous. Let me know your thoughts. What are some of your favorite tracks? Do you like the album? What is your favorite Michael Jackson album if you had to pick one? And as always, thanks so much for tuning in to On The Needle. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.